So hey everybody, what's going on? It's your boy Takedown Man. And tonight we're going to talk about some things they don't teach you in the history class. This one's called buck breaking. The process of breaking the buck involves one of the most heinous and atrocious acts known to man. A slave who was defiant and may stir up trouble was beaten with a whip until bloody in front of his entire slave congregation. The slave owner, afraid of an uprising, would cut down a tree, and with the top and the help of the overseer, would then beat the defiant buck into submission. Once the slave was worn down, the master had the other slaves force that slave over a tree stump, where they were then laid naked and exposed. What came next? caused fear and terror to ripple through every slave plantation across the South. The master would explain to all the other slaves that if they did not follow strict orders and comply with the whims of the overseers and the masters, this too would be their fate. The master would then remove his clothing and proceed to sodomize the slave in front of his wife, family, friends, and children. He would then invite his friends from other plantations to join in the raping festivals. In order for this plan to take effect, he would require the slave's children to watch front row center so they too could witness their parents' sexual demise and humiliation. Buck breaking was the slave's master's very effective tool to keep all slaves from ever being defiant and taking revenge. It also frightened the mothers and wives from ever giving consent to an uprising. Buck breaking was so successful that it was made into a sex farm where free men would travel from plantation to plantation, raping different slaves from child to adult. In popular urban songs, you will even hear the term buck nigga used against another person to demean them, such as calling them weak or gay. This is where this term came from. So does this still exist today? Indeed it does. It is, however, no longer just a slave issue. It's in our prison systems. When people get out of line, prison rape or bucking is an effective way of making sure one is, well, demeaned in a way to where they will no longer be respected. This is done by guards and inmates as a way of showing dominance, and no one is immune. If you Google prison rape statistics, you will see a horrible number still out there, and even events to where it has been shown the guards have allowed it to happen to unruly inmates and would even sometimes participate. So I ask this question, have we really changed even after all this time? I also wonder why this isn't discussed more. Is it because people just don't care? Or is it because of some kind of cover up started many years ago? to maybe hide homosexual tendencies or deviant tendencies. This truly looks like history to me, even if it is untold, hidden history. Thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share all my videos. Peace out. Mahalo. Have a great day.